It's a little chilly this morning. I've already been out this morning and fed and watered everybody. But I think River is close to kidding. I'm not for sure, but I can't feel her ligaments. She wasn't exactly still for me to do that. She fought that, but uh, I couldn't feel them at all. So I'm gonna go out and check on her. And um, yesterday morning, I got my first turkey egg of this season. I'm really excited about that. But I got it early in the morning because one of the hens, or maybe two, I don't know, somebody is destroying eggs. So I'm trying to get out here as soon as they lay and get the eggs. Um, of course, that means I have to bring Maggie with me. Of course, Maggie goes everywhere with me anyway. But I have to bring Maggie with me to keep that rooster back. Yesterday, when I got in the coop to get eggs, Maggie wasn't paying attention she was I don't know what she was looking at a squirrel or something and uh, I bent down to get an egg and that rooster came out of nowhere and hit me in the head and then Maggie reacted but <laughs> I don't want that to happen again this morning I'm taking you guys as a witness to how aggressive this rooster is he has gotten to where he attacks Maggie too so as soon as she goes in he starts squaring up with her and he he attack her and she thinks it's a game hang on let me adjust you guys she just thinks it's a game and it's all funny but uh i don't i don't like it so we're gonna go see if there's a, a turkey egg i'm also checking for duck eggs because i plan on going to an auction later today and i'm wanting to take death layer eggs and um duck eggs up there to see how they sell so i'm getting everything um trying to get all the eggs that i can to take up there but I'm having a hard time getting death layer eggs because one of them is eating the eggs. And then I want to check on River just to make sure that everything's okay with River. No, Maggie, leave them alone. Just the camera. Leave the hens, uh-uh, leave the hens alone. Keep an eye on him. Good girl. Yeah. And hang on. Hey, watch him sneaking around the corner. I'm gonna look in here. I don't see Maggie. Watch him. You're not watching him. I don't see anything else. I got a. I got a. a, a, a egg out of here this morning. Just one. But we're gonna check often. Yesterday. That turkey laid early. What are you doing? What are you doing? Good boy. <coughs> Kitty always follows. Okay, I got an egg right here this morning. A, a fresh one, a new one. I'm uh, trying to just get the new ones. They've got a nest going in here. I'm gonna wait and see if they if they sit on the nest so i've been getting the ones out of this corner over here there's a little you can see where they've made a nest i'm getting the ones over there i'm leaving these over here now they're adding new ones to this one the thing is i can't tell which ones have been sitting there and which ones are new so i can't collect those for the auction if i'm selling eggs you know for hatching eggs i need to make sure that they're fresh can't tell the difference in a pile where they all look the same so i can't get any from there but I did get one this morning. I see River here, so I know she's not in active labor right now. I don't feel like her her milk bag is completely full. I know it's not, it's not completely full. And so, um, but that's not always an indicator. I, I had a doe that did not milk, didn't bag up until she gave birth. Um, just like during labor or something, she just filled up. So that's only happened once, but they usually fill up and get real tight before before they kid. But that's not 100%, so you always need to keep an eye on them. So here she is. Um, I, I'm going to go in there and check her out, see, see if I can get her to cooperate a little bit better so that I can see if I can feel the ligaments. When the ligaments soften up, that's when you know, you know, within hours they'll be kidding. Sometimes it all happens all at once, but since it's not happening all at once, it is slowly. I am checking daily. They're get oh, kitty, you went in? Out. Uh, 
anyway it's it's been a, an indicator for my does but it can happen all all of a sudden everything softens up and they they give birth they bag up everything can happen all at once but usually it doesn't usually you kind of have an idea by the way they are bagging up or their how soft their ligaments are in their back so kitty on. so i know i um am probably there's a lot of you who have goats or have had goats in the past and so way more experienced than i am but i also know that there are some of you that haven't yet had goats and are we're waiting on maggie uh you guys haven't had goats yet and you're considering goats or want goats one day or just enjoy watching and learning about the goats and have no intention of getting into goats so those are the ones i'm talking to i am not an expert i'm just talking from my experience with goats i don't i i have no like education on goats but i'm just telling you what my experience has been these last few years having nigerian dwarf goats and of course river she's a mini la mancha she is closer to the standard size la mancha she's a first generation maggie you can't go in he still has food and that would be uh, dangerous for you so i'm gonna plug maggie in over somewhere i don't even know where i'm gonna put her i'm gonna run maggie inside real fast before this gets uh dangerous hold that river thought the night the uh, mini la mancha thought i'll be right back okay put maggie up didn't need to bring her out there anyway because the goats are so close to kidding uh so so river is a mini la mancha her mother was a standard la mancha her father was a standard i mean her father was a nigerian dwarf but i need to get away from the fence before i finish this Okay, I had to take Caleb and put him in the garage so that I could video this for you. If, if it wasn't for that, I would have just left him out here to bark. This one will stop. He won't He won't bark the whole time. But Caleb and, and, and uh, Tucker, uh, first of all, they don't like each other and they never have. Um, as a matter of fact, I will try to find the video when I tried to introduce them to each other when Tucker was just a little bitty puppy and link that to the end of this video so that you can go, so that you can go watch that and uh yeah it was it's so they've no, never gotten along and they're jealous so if i come out here and they're jealous and they hate each other they're gonna bark the whole time and um, it's just something that they're gonna have to get used to seeing each other again because kayla because tucker is out here full time now i see you i see you yeah okay oh no 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 so anyway rivers River's mother was a standard La Mancha and her father was a Nigerian dwarf buck. It was my buck and Amy at living in Abundant Grace Homestead. It was her doe. She had twins and I, Amy gave me River and uh, she kept the other one. And so we both have a mini La Mancha. Now she has um, bred River's sister and got a doe out of that. So that's like the second generation. You got to get down, buddy. You've got to stay down. So that's like the uh, the second generation of the mini La Manchas. Um, and River was bred to Chase. And so these that are born from her will be mini La Manchas. The thing is, you don't know if they're going to have the Nigerian dwarf ears or the uh, La Mancha ears or something in between. I'm hoping for the La Mancha ears. So anyway, um, I bred. Uh, last year she had a buck. It was a very hard delivery. She rejected the baby. And um, I gave, that was Niles that was out here breeding a couple of Rain's, these two right here, a couple of Rain's daughters this year. <clears throat> I gave him to Amy, so she brought him back over here for me to use as a buck for, for my Nigerian uh, girls. So I've got, I believe it was these two that, I'll have to look, I wrote it down. Um, these two that were, were bred with Niles and then River was bred with a Nigerian dwarf buck. So there's a potential for three different babies with the, the La Mancha ears, but the be little like the Nigerian dwarfs. And they also have the personality of the Nigerian dwarf, which is cool because they've got the best personality. So River's laying here. She hasn't gotten up since I, since I got here. So I'm going to check on her real fast. You got to move, bud. Hey, how are you doing, Tucker? No, I'm about to 
lock you up over here. I haven't gotten this fence down, but that was yesterday. I'm videoing the next day from the last video. Tucker, no. No. I should go get the the I should go get the control to you. Yeah, she's not she's not completely filled up yet. And I can't tell I don't see any discharge yet. Are you gonna have babies today? Or are you gonna wait a week from now? Stop. Stop it. I know you love me, but I gotta do something. Oh yeah, she's She's close. Look how big she's bigger than she was last year. Last year she had one. I'm hoping she has two. And I hope she do, I hope she does better giving birth and accepting it. Uh, sometimes first time mamas have a hard time um, adjusting, giving birth and accepting and knowing what to do with the baby. Not not a lot, but it is it is more common in the first time uh, moms than it is you know ones that have kidded before. Um, she so another thing with with at least with my goats another thing that I've noticed with with them being bred and pregnant um, They'll be they'll be really friendly uh, Even the ones that aren't real friendly and don't like you loving on them or petting them uh, so Like like pebbles gets real friendly when it's time. This is her second year to give birth and I remember last year she, she didn't used to let me pet her but last year when she got close to giving birth she got real friendly rivers kind of hanging with me rivers friendly anyway but these last few days she's been the opposite she's not wanting me to touch her or anything but right now this morning even this morning when I came out to feed she didn't want me touching her she was kicking at me when I tried to fill over ligaments and everything but right now she uh, is definitely hanging out with me and when I step back she comes closer to me so but I'm gonna keep a really close eye on her because I think it's I it's real close I think rivers first and then pebbles will be next that's what I think, but I didn't see them breed, so I don't know. Is it today, River? Is it today? Is it gonna be today? Really? Get back. Let me see how you're doing. Let me see, you need a scratch? Tucker, you've got to get back. Tucker, no. Hey, no. No. Come here. Sit. 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 Good boy. Okay, I just felt of her ligaments. Um... And you can just barely feel them. They're real soft. And what I'm doing is right back here, there's, I don't know, there's two ligaments that run down the side here. I don't even know if you can see because of him. But they just run down the side here. And you can definitely feel that they're there at other times, at any other time. But right now, it just like, it's soft. And it just kind of sinks down to where you can't even feel it right before they give birth. But she is acting um, a little odd, a little bit different. Certainly different than she was early this morning when I came out to feed her, so. Look at her spots. She is so pretty. And fat. You're fat, Pebbles. You're fat. Rain, you want in on this? Oh, good morning. It is the next morning. I did go to the auction yesterday and sold the uh, duck eggs and the chicken eggs. But this morning, uh, Maggie and I are going to go out and feed like we normally do. But I've also got to check on River. And that's actually, I'm going to do that first, is check on River. Unless I see her come up. Because she did not kid last night. Uh, well, that I know of. Like before I went, before dark, I checked on her several times. She was out just grazing, and uh, but golly, I don't know. It'll be soon if she hasn't already. Hi, Tucker. 
And there's River. Did you take care of everybody last night? He's a good boy. No babies, River? Okay, you got to get in. Let me get this. Let me get it. Okay, I was going to leave Maggie out. I, uh, I guess I changed my mind. Hey, River. No babies yet? Maybe I'll get to... Guys, take that. Get out of here. Maggie. Tucker, let's go. Maybe they'll play with each other. Yeah, Maggie doesn't know that's open down there. That's funny. She didn't know how to get to him. Okay. Rain's got a little bit of a bag. This one does too. That's what y'all need to see is the back end of goats. Well, there we go. River's really bagging up. Hey, goat, I'm trying to film. Excuse me, goat. River, you doing okay? These two that are down on their front legs, that's mother and daughter. And to be honest with you, right now I can't remember which, uh, the brown one's mother, I think. I have to go back and look. They are mother and daughter. Yes, the brown one is the mother, because the brown one is Rain's daughter. And I remember last year when Rain was having her baby, which was that one, this little black one was jumping all over her because this one had hers first and uh, the three of them um, they don't have names the black one the brown one and this one over here that looks like rain they don't have names but these two are always together Here they come. I can't keep up with them. Anyway, uh, <laughs> nothing yet. So we're going to go ahead and break up the play date and go take care of the other goats and, and the birds. See if we can't find a turkey egg or a death layer egg or black Cayuga duck egg. Maggie found her way over there. Oh, you hit the camera. You hit the camera. Yay, hey, don't get so close to me. I can't film you. I can't film you. Stay over here. So I was just standing out here looking at the goats, and uh, Pebbles looks pretty bagged up. Like, I haven't checked her. There she is. What are you doing, Pebbles? Get back. She doesn't want you up here. Pebbles. Tucker, you're scaring the goat. Let's see. She doesn't she doesn't want me back there, but she is she looks like she could go too at any time. She's fat. So it's a race between uh, Pebbles and, and River, it looks like. Still think it'll be River. I don't know, that's pretty, she's pretty full. Hey Pebbles. Hey Pebbles. That fat cat, just, she's so cute. You're so cute, kitty. Come here. Come here. 
Not you, Mags. Kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Come here. You coming? Come here. Good girl. That's a good girl. You're so cute. Maggie, do you like her? There's Batman. Good morning, Batman. Maggie, leave him alone. He's coming up for breakfast. You want some? He usually goes in here with the goats. I mean, with the ducks. Well, the goats, too. Okay, you guys ready? Look, here comes the ducks. The ducks are ready to eat, too. I'm going to chain Maggie right here. Because I can't hold the camera and two things to feed and feed. Move. Chill out, Rocky. Bro. Okay, ducky. Man, they're pretty. Here comes Batman. So I left that out here yesterday. I was wondering where it was. I was looking for it a while ago. I already see over here in the corner, there's an egg. A new egg. So I need to get it. I'm still letting them collect eggs in the nest. Hoping, hoping that they'll... <coughs> Hoping that they'll uh, go broody. And I thought that one was going broody, but she's she's over here with the rest of them. So they have a whole nest. And it, it looks like they've added to their nest. But if they lay over here, I'll get them. Or if they lay over... Well, anywhere else besides the nest. Because I can't really tell the difference in what's new and what's old in that nest. And I am uh, hoping that somebody will sit on those eggs and hatch them for me. Now we're going to go back and get food. And uh, for the chickens, they have they have the, the feeder there. But I bring them some food <clears throat> and... Uh, feed them a little bit I don't know they like it they like it better when I throw it on the ground than in the feeder so I bring them some food and uh, check for eggs <laughs> this is where that rooster <clears throat> gets in trouble look how pretty this duck is maybe he'll come back around and you'll be able to see there are two of them that are just really green and and pretty nope See, there's that rooster. He got over, he got over with the rest of them, and he's eating over there. Batman, he's back over here, where I dropped the food for him. Hi, kitty. Real quickly, I'm gonna come out here and feed these meat birds. Uh, there's one in here that can't walk, and I'm wondering if she's still alive. I've been, I've been bringing food and water up to her because she can't move I can't open it because she can't get up to get it and there she is she's still alive need to get her some fresh water but I will throw her some food down y'all got some eggs in here need to get Savannah over here to get your eggs imagine she's just too big Okay. 
I'll be back and get her some fresh water. She does, she is able to kind of move around, kind of, she can't stand up. I don't know how she moves. She crawls around or something. She put herself in that box. I set her in there one night. I thought it was going to storm. Picked her up from out in the pen and put her in there. Um, I had been t bringing food out to her in the pen. I had been bringing food and water out to her, and she would move around the pen. I don't see her move, so I don't really know how she's doing it. But each morning, I would bring the water and set it by her and put food by her. And then it was going to storm, and so I put her inside the hoop coop. And uh, But I didn't put her in that box. She's put herself in that box. So she has some movement, but um, she just she stays there all day. Um, so I, I imagine she just got too big. That's that's the kind of bird they are. They were they were bred to be meat. And I think I was overfeeding them for a while, and that might be why she got too big. Um, but I didn't know how much to feed them. They will eat like these other birds will eat and stop when they're done. These guys will eat forever. They're big birds. Um, I just didn't know how much to feed them. But uh, I had a whole bunch of them, and now they're just dwindling down. They just don't live long. Um, she won't live long like that. She can't. And the only reason she's still alive is because I bring food and drink to her every morning. So we're going to get Maggie, and we're going to look for early morning eggs. Hopefully, what I really want is a turkey egg and um, death layer, but especially a turkey egg. When I got leash, food, and camera in my hands, this is difficult. See, she's not jumping at the hens. Now, she will if they get to flying around because she can't help herself. But she's focused on him. See that? Ah, hey, no. Make a liar out of me. Maggie. Come on, let's go this way. Come on. I gotta figure out who's tearing up these eggs. Oh, a turkey egg. Score, and it better be full. Oh, yes. There's a little bit, bit of blood on that one. Maggie, come here. She escaped. Hey, <laughs> she came off her leash. Sorry, guys, I know it's swinging you all over the place. Maggie, come here. Come here. Good girl. I put it on her like this so that I can hook her up to the fences real quickly when I need to. And uh, she slipped out of there. She didn't know it. Where's my... Oh, I put it in my pocket. Anyway, look at that. Another turkey egg. She laid one day before yesterday. And so this is the second one. Come on, Maggie. No other eggs. They'll start laying here in a little bit. So bringing that food out in the mornings does help kind of um, calm the birds down I guess when we come in here but look he's already he's wanting to eat but he's wanting to fight too let's go look at her looking back because she always gets attacked when she leaves I do it too I watch my back coming out of here so I was gonna let you know on the um, the eggs I took uh, 10 Cayuga duck eggs and, and some of them were really black they, they look really good to the to the auction and I took uh, seven of the death layer eggs and I would have taken more of those but somebody is eating those eggs and I gotta I gotta get them I gotta find out who it is and get rid of them but the um, the 10 Cayuga duck eggs sold for five dollars and the um, the death layer eggs seven of those sold for ten dollars which kind of surprises me because the duck eggs they look really good they were black um but you know whatever <laughs> i was just curious as to what they would sell for didn't really have any expectations other than i expected come on kitty i expected the eggs the duck eggs to sell for more let me tie this so I do have some death layer eggs in the incubator. I started candling them the other day and they look fertile. I didn't candle all of them, so I need to do that. I need to get the infertile ones out um, before before something bad happens, before they explode, rot and explode or something. Um, but so the, the, you know, the last time I tried to 
um, hatch the death layer eggs um, I had one hatch and he is in there or he or she is in the brooder in there by him or herself I got rid of um, that incubator because I felt like that incubator had problems it was one of those styrofoam incubators that you get it uh, they had the plastic on the outside but they're styrofoam on the inside from like atwoods or tractor supply i got a different incubator um i felt like i was having problems with it last year so um and they're hard to clean because of the material they're made from but anyway i got a new one from atwoods um they had a they they had a new new brand out a different kind of incubator so i got it and trying and am trying it out with these eggs I like working with it better than I do the other one, but we'll just see how many hatch out and, and, and see really how much I like it. I am going to buy some more incubators, a couple of more, um, probably online, check out the reviews and get, I don't know, a couple of, um, I don't know, just cheap incubators so that I can have multiple going and um, kind of get an idea of which brands I like better than others. Can't afford one of those big ones, so... I can't afford one of those big ones and I really don't have a place to put it right now with everything going on inside the house. Uh, but one day, one day I want to get um, one of those big um, incubators, the expensive ones, the ones that are real good, the ones that make me jealous and people like Marie have and Cassie over at Walker Farm Fam have. One of these days I'm going to get one of those um, bigger ones, but right now I can't. These little ones do all right. Like usually you got you get a pr good, pretty good hatch rate out of them so it's no you know no big deal i'm just gonna buy a few of them a few different brands and kind of narrow down what what i do like and what works best for me and uh, plan on doing a lot of hatching i'm gonna hatch turkeys to keep this year because i just have one hen i got rid of the blue slate hen because i want pure royal palm so i have a royal palm hen and tom and i'm gonna hatch theirs out and keep theirs uh, of course, if there's a bunch of toms, I'm going to get rid of those later. Um, but right now, the plan is to keep the hens and to get a replacement for that death layer roux. If the death layers, I'm going to try selling them. And if they don't sell well, then I'm going to go with a different breed. Um, just going to, I don't know. I'm a little frustrated right now with this breed, especially with the way he is acting. So we'll see how that how things go and i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit the thumbs up definitely leave me a comment down below um and uh, share the video out and we will see you on the next one bye